Hi guys, and thanks for watching again. In this video I will be building this radio kit. Now I've did a radio kit before in one of my previous videos, but this ju just looks like a better kit to me. It has an LCD screen on there, one COB chip, and more components, more screws than the previous kit, so I think this will be a better kit. Now the reason it, all the components are already mounted on there is because I already did the video. And I found the video quite long and it was quite boring to look at uh, me soldering all the components on there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change how I make the video and I'm going to tell you what you can expect, what went wrong, what went good. Uh, and when I'm all done talking about this, I'll show you the speed up video, which I already did. So first things first, um, I first ordered all the components, all the capacitors by their capacity and the uh, resistors. Now the resistors are quite hard to read, but it, wa it was doable and I uh, also got my resistor measurement device to uh, double check if, if the resistance was correct. And uh, every component on there has exactly one spare. So these are all spares. Every capacitor has one spare, every resistor has one spare, except for the more expensive components like the electrolytic capacitors and the transistors over there. Um, now these two uh, coils are both 6.5 turns and this one is the 5.5 turn coil. It is a bit smaller than the other one, so that is easy. And these are two components, one with three legs and one with two legs. It's very self-explanatory, uh, Tori, uh, the switch uh, and this rotating, I don't know if it's a potentiometer, but it, they all fit in exactly one position. The capacitors and the resistors, of course, do not mind about the polarity, but these these guys do. So make sure that the minus side is the, with the white line on there is on the minus side. This thing, however, this was a real pain in the ass to get on there because the solder wouldn't hold on the, on the four pins. The two two outer pins over there was fine, but the four just it didn't take any solder. I was soldering on it, and and the blob was forming all around the pin. So what I did, I, sc I scraped with with my uh, uh, um, uh, pliers, scraped away some of the, the coating which looked like to be on on the pin. And then soldered again, which and then it went better. I'm not saying fine, but it, it went better and it and it took solder. So I'm hoping that it is making contact right now. All the other components went absolutely fine, but this was this was was a real pain in the ass. For this board, I had to solder this uh, chip on board, this COB chip on there, flat against the the other PCB. Now my soldering is is not not great but uh, it, it, it is good enough. And what I did, I mm, soldered these components on there first, and that was quite a mistake. Um, if you're going to build this kit, don't do that. Just lay it flat on, on, on your desk or on your workbench, and then start mounting this one on there. And uh, when you're done, do not mount these on there, because uh, these ones have to go in there first. Now, I tried soldering it on there. I don't know if you can see it. It is quite messy around there, but that is not required. But because I, I, I can... or this one, I meant this one. It, I cannot press it anymore because I... yeah, I uh, made a mess. But this one is pressable because uh, I, I was trying to solder, it, solder them in, but that's not necessary. You can just put them in there. This one is not soldered and it will hold itself. Uh, so yeah, I have to remove this one, remove the solder, and do it all over again. Luckily there's one or two spares of these guys in there, so uh, that won't be a problem. Now, like I said before, this kit, uh, this this video uh, was quite long, more than one hour, and uh, one, more than one hour watching this video, uh, now there, <laughs> it was not holding enough. More than one hour, uh, it, it was just too, too, too boring, so this is what, uh, what uh, I... I uh, found out all the way about building this kit and uh, yeah one thing I want, wanted to mention uh, because some guy was asking uh, um, the reason that 
I will, <laughs> it's, it's a long time between my previous video and this one is not because I'm getting tired of YouTube or anything, just because uh, I was on vacation to London and uh, I got the flu uh, probably from the tube over there, the metro, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I was uh, out for a couple of days. But uh, I'm back and I'm start want to start building kits again and uh, do other videos about electronics and uh, also the MP3 Spectrum 8x8x8 LED cube is coming up. So for now, uh, yeah, I'm going to build this, the next of this kit, the, the, the remaining parts on the next video. For now, I'll show you the speed up version and I'm going to try to see if I can speed it up like that so that you can actually uh, change the speed to in, on YouTube to 0 0.25, 0.25 or even slower so that you can have a one uh, to one ratio speed. Not sure if that will work out, um, but we'll see. And I'm not quite sure if I'll add some music to that. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> for now, thanks for watching.